Hello and welcome to a game launch special here at 5J Gaming. I'm 5J and of course it is the Switch launch day and therefore Breath of the Wild launch day. So uh, I haven't opened this yet. I have updated my Switch. I've got everything ready to go. You can see I changed the theme, but I haven't even opened the file yet. So I have zero experience with this. I didn't even watch all the trailers and stuff going on, all the playthroughs or whatnot. So let's get started. I cannot wait to see this. Okay, first time. Bling. Nintendo Switch. Largely this console is very fast and I'm I'm a big fan of how responsive it is. Taking a screenshot for one thing is just instantaneous. That's a very simple Breath of the Wild. Wow. Very simple. You've got my attention. Open your eyes. Changing the setting, hang on. Okay. Open your eyes. In the vat of crazy. Wake up, Link. Ooh. I like whatever that voice actress is. I like the voice. Soothing, a little British. Wow, these graphics are so unique. No game looks like this, you know? Man, pretty freaking sweet. Come out of your Darth Vader pod there, Link. Sweet glowy stuff. It's a cool effect. I like it. I think this game has lots and lots of things that glow. Okay, so we're off. Wow, okay then. Just getting started. Okay, B button is to run. It's much like Skyward Sword. You got the little the X to jump. Oh, I've got nothing. Y is to grab your sword, but you don't have a sword. Also, your shoulder buttons. And your secondary shoulder grabs a different item, it appears. Okay. Crouching increases stealth. Sneaking up sounds awesome. Action, I see. Okay. Alright. Uh, and the classic... Z targeting essentially. Cool. So your Sheikah slate, like right away you get this thing. There it is, first thing. That is a Sheikah slate. Take it. If you insist. It will help guide you after your long slumber. Cool. It glows, you can trust it. Wow, it's essentially a switch. Ha! Hey, it's a nice little twist on the classic uh, alert noises here. Da -na -na -na. Mysterious tablet with a glowing center. You've never seen this device before, and yet there's something familiar about it. There it is. <laughs> Rotating around, Link. Cool. Z Feels like that's an impractical way to make a door, sliding sheets like that. Oh! These actual treasure chests. Oh, 
an old shirt. All right. Excellent. Old pants. I'm feeling it. Old pants. Oh, well-worn trousers. Not quite. Not quite. Yeah, I'm not going for naked Link. Some folks, it's all they want. Running around the whole game is naked Link. So drop it with A or chuck it. Oh, no other shoulder button. R1, or what do they call these? R and ZR, so R and not ZR. And if you're curious, I'm playing this on the Switch Pro controller. It's cool. I, I honestly don't think it looks all that great. But uh, it feels nice. It's it's the way to play. Hold the Sheikah slate up to the pedestal. That will show you the way. I like this lady's voice. I don't know who this voice actress is, but she's got a pleasant voice. And so this voice is guiding us. We don't know who it is. It's not a little Navi character popping you in the head. Listen, listen, shut up. Shut up, you stupid fairy. Okay. Let's just keep on keeping on here. <laughs> cool. Oh, yeah, adding a new dimension to the colors. The warm tones enter the mix. Ooh, his eyes look very crisp. Link, you are the light. Our light. That must shine upon Hyrule once again. Now go. Okay. Sounds dire. Also, why are we, like, stashed away in this awesome, like... Doom guy chamber. This is essentially how Doom started out. Why are we in some crazy chamber? I don't know. Oh, pressing in the right stick pulls out the Sheikah slate and you use it like a camera. Didn't expect that. Oh, you gotta be able to get more stamina. Get stronger with that, because that's a little pathetic. Oh, X to climb. Nice. Oh, that's cool. And already, you couldn't get past that unless you figured out how to climb. Oh, and it's going to take you right to this very iconic piece of artwork. Wow. You see it everywhere. It looks great in person. I'm looking at it on a 46-inch TV. Nice. And I'm liking that music. Got some nice... Uh, ambient sounds here, birds tweeting and such. That soundtrack. Oh. Guess we're supposed to go over there. Oh, old man. Oh boy, mysterious, creepy looking old man. The Great Plateau. So we could go where it wants us to go, or we could do anything else we want to do. I kind of want to know what's up there. Aha, take a stick. Wooden branches are pretty common, but surprisingly well balanced. Okay. Attack with your equipped weapon. Heck yes. Give me more. Oh. Just tell you the damage while you're switching between them? It does not. What were we whistling for? Opponent eventually, I have to assume. Let's see if we can make it up there. I don't think we have enough stamina. Oh. We totally do. This is so epic. I'm just like, hey, I want to climb this mountain. So what do I do? I climb the mountain. There's a dude. Let's see if we can attack. No, you don't want... You want no piece of this? You don't want the Link Meister to club you over the head? Alright, he's gone. Acorns? Add one to a meal for a nutty seasoning. I think Lauren would really like the cooking aspect of this game. 
once we get a little deeper into that. <laughs> ah, he gets worn out while running very quickly. He's just like me. Oh, it's already a snowy part. Very cool. Temperature's getting dangerously low. Oh, we're going to take damage. Didn't expect that. Why is it snow 10 steps that way and not this way? I would assume it would be an altitude thing, but that was the same level. Oh, we're ending up going towards that church anyway. Oh man, this is so pretty. This art style they've chosen, I'm very much a fan of. Link. Yeah, what's up? Head for the point marked on the map in your Sheikah Slate. Oh, okay. Cool. Sure thing, lady. You got it. Current location. I don't know, I guess this. Follow the Sheikah Slate. That's cool. The map looks very handy. From out of nowhere, you hear a woman's voice speak to you. Oh, this will be great for when you uh, quit the game and come back. Seeing as she instructs you to head to the marker displayed in the Sheikah Slate. The slate is both alien and somehow familiar to you. You find that you can access its map by pressing the minus button. Excellent. Cool. And it wants me to go here? Unless... Let's check that map again. Bling! Yeah, Shrine of Resurrection. We can just travel there? Oh, that's pretty awesome. How does your body do that, pal? That's... That's quite a trick. My, my. Oh, it's loading in the bottom right there. Filling in the Zelda logo. Cool, cool. I think my map has a point that we don't really want. Can I delete the stamp? Okay. I need to go somewhere. The Sheikah Slate has been damaged. What does that mean? Maybe we're just repairing it over time and that's what those abilities are. That makes sen sense, I think. Can I climb quickly? Sort of, I guess. Just kind of jump up. Okay, well, we've explored a little. We've had some fun. We see Mr. Mysterious Old Man down there. We'll go take a look. After, of course, we do the classic push the rock off the edge. Where does it go? Who knows? Let's just push it and see what happens. This way. Where you go? Where you go? Oh darn, no destruction. Hello, old man, let's chat. Take, take what? A baked apple. Direct heat has softened and sweetened this apple. Each to restore three quarters of a heart. Nice. I beg your pardon? I do believe that is my baked apple. You can't just go about taking whatever you please. <laughs> Classic. Eyes pulling my leg. He's a cool old man. <laughs> Options, too. It's a bit strange to see no only parts. Who are you and buy? <laughs> I'll spare you my life story. 
I'm just an old fool who has lived here alone for quite some time now. What brings a bright-eyed young man like you to a place like this? Answering the question with a question. That is fair enough. As I cannot imagine our meetings to be a simple coincidence, I shall tell you. This is the Great Plateau. According to legend, this is the birthplace of the entire kingdom of Hyrule. Seems to align with... Uh... Oh, what, do I... no, what am I saying? I don't know anything about the Great Plateau. Mm. This is new. That temple there long ago <clears throat> was the site of many sacred ceremonies. I'm getting a little uh, Sean Connery. Ever since the decline of the kingdom a hundred years ago, it has sat abandoned in a state of decay. Kind of like a Miss Connery. Yet another forgotten entity, a mere ghost of its former self. That's all you gotta say, old dude? Oh, don't set yourself on fire, pal. Ho ho ho! I actually don't have anywhere to be because I just woke up. I don't know anything about myself, so... No, I've got nowhere to be. Oh, take the big woodcutter's axe! Slow and inefficient. Don't care. What? Oh, 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 oh. That's so cool. Hey, we can cut through brush. Excellent. Oh, and various other weeds. Let's get a little faster weapon here. Does this also cut through? It doesn't. It doesn't have a blade, so it doesn't cut through. Makes sense, makes sense. Pick it up. <laughs> Meh. I keep pushing in the stick to run because that's how it is in a lot of games. But not so much in this one. Oh. What if we here? Oh, Coblin. My tree branch is badly damaged. Oh, Bokoblin, I'm so going to get you. And I'm going to switch. To the woodcutter's axe. Ooh. Nice combo, Link. You pick that up. Pick that up right now. Wow, he's very slidey. It's like ice around here. No, don't run away, boar. I want to eat you. <sighs> Cruelty. I just wanted to eat a little bit of pig, you know? Get a little bacon. You're not living until you're eating bacon in Legend of Zelda. Oh, oh. It's okay, little buddy. I'll kill you very quickly. It's fine. Oh, mushroom. Yeah! It tells you how much health it restores. That's going to be very handy moving forward. Well, there's like so much you can do at any point. That looks to be bombable, like there's a cave there. Don't have any bombs, of course. Let's see if we can hack it open with an axe. Wait, unless, unless my axe gets weak. I think it probably does, doesn't it? I don't want to ruin it. We better check out that uh, little castle there that we were obviously meant to explore. Oh! A little cave in here, maybe? Let's see what's in here. Flint! Nice! Starting fires! I like it. Oh, it's not a cave. But I got us some flint! Hey! 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 Ooh, there appears to be some fruit in this tree. Cut it down! More 
apples. Good. Well, we can cut down a tree. Let's see how we react to water. Oh, 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 nice dive, sir. Okay, okay. X is to do a big swim thing, or A. But not B, which is run, so I'm not sure where that makes sense, but it is what it is, I suppose. I gotta know what's up there. Climb, climb, sir. A sword, a rusty broadsword. Nice. Throw a weapon. Oh, it's ZR, huh? Must be only certain ones. Why? It, but it doesn't seem to. Whoa, that was new. So can I only throw the sword? Oh! I'm charging it up! Oh! Sweet! I'm not seeing this throwing thing work. Oh, it's R. Never mind, I was pressing ZR. Like a fool. Swim quickly, young sir. Oh, you can see through the water. Very beautiful. The Temple of Time! Oh, oh, and there's a guardian. I got the big guardian amiibo here, too. Let's see if I can reach it. Ah. Make a little clattering here. Okay. Here's your uh, guardian amiibo. Uh, there's a frozen in guardian a couple of them right there and these legs I didn't realize are movable on the amiibo you can fully pose the legs it's crazy so very cool Let's see what's going on in the old temple of time some sunlight. Don't worry about it. You want to fight, boy? You want to fight? Cause I'll fight. I'll fight you big time. Boom! Take your weapon. Looks like you can probably steal their weapon before they're even dead. I like that. Tossed into some stew. With some critters to make elixir. And what does elixir do for us? Recover magic, maybe? Once we get something that is magical? <laughs> Might as well just go this way as quickly as possible. I imagine a cutscene or something's gonna trigger up here. Let's pray to this, uh, Got a statue, I guess. It looks like uh, similar statues to Skyward Sword. So, could be some sort of connection there. Nothing? No, oh, I thought it would be a cutscene. The goddess statue smiles upon you. Well, I thought on the map. There was a place that we were supposed to go. Is that it? I have no idea. If so, it's just a little ways over there. Nice. Hey, that's awesome. Link is more mobile than he's ever been. And uh, he's able to jump out windows. Safely, of course. Safely. 
This doesn't look like anything important. I was just seeing things, but let's see what's up here. Curiosity, baby. Go, go, Link. Sweet. Oh, I'm getting into the frosty territory. Okay. Oh, we get a nice viewpoint. Oh, there's some ruins over there. Oh, we're losing health. Oh, boy. We climb down safely. Is there any way to do that? Ah! Okay, okay. You gotta get used to these uh, controls. What buttons for what? What you got? I was gonna say it looks like a habanero, and there you go, spicy pepper. Oh wait, did it say something? What will raise your body temperature and help you withstand the cold? Well. Wow. Timely. Surely accidental, I'm sure. There's no relation to there being some cold areas ahead. Oh, yeah. Oh, let's mess some dudes up. Oh, and there's mushrooms to gather, too. Oh, yeah! You gotta love some shrooms. It's literally called a shroom. What's up? It's badly damaged. I don't like the sound of that. Okay. Take care of the guy who's trying to poke me with the fire stick. Boko spear. Okay. Let's spear this guy up. Have at me. Oh, he's got a shield. Let's get that shield. Fang. A horn. Let's get a badly damaged tree branch. Bam! Oh, okay. Raise your shield. Sounds good. And while I do that, can I also... Pull out a weapon. Yes, I can. Nice. Oh, I'm liking this. Oh, more spicy peppers. Excellent. I'll survive the crap out of that cold area. Oh, it doesn't break, huh? We'll see about that. You really will. Look at it go. My, my. Huh. Is there nothing we can do besides chuck it down hills? Throw it in the fire, maybe? Can it burn? I assume everything can burn. Ooh, some seared steak. Living large, Link. Living real large. Let's see. There we go. Hey, and there was some seared steak inside. Excellent. Let's take another spear. We're getting equipped for some combat here, and we're exploring this area. Feel like I need to equip all my crappy weapons first. AKA tree branches and such. Alright. Let's see how it goes. There's my body temperature going down. We'll eat one of these bad boys, right? This is how we do it. Eh. Does it do almost nothing? Can't tell are we dying or not. 
the answer is yes. Yes, we are. It doesn't warm me up for long. I don't think it's viable to go in here right now. There goes some more health. Oh, I want to get to that mountain. Supposedly, you can go pretty much anywhere you want right from the beginning of the game, but you'll just run into enemies that could be way too strong for you and wipe you out. So that's interesting. I like that idea. Adventure log. Save. Why not? Plum. Plum. Hmm. So the piece we, the point we put on the map was nothing. We can take that off. But does it want me to go to this shrine? I'm not sure what I'm supposed to do right now. slate is damaged. Blah, blah. Pretty cool. Oh, wait. What was I doing? I was looking for adventure log. She instructs you to head to the marker displayed on the Sheikah slate. The slate is both alien and somehow familiar. You can find that you access it by pressing minus. Set destination. Oh, I had unselected the destination. Excellent. Okay. No wonder we were lost. I made myself lost. As per the usual. You can just see like the sunlight sparkling in things and it's just... Ah, it looks so great. It looks awesome. This is sort of taking the style of Skyward Sword and changing it a little bit, but also kind of letting it reach its full potential. It's not quite the same painterly style, but fairly similar. Runs smooth. I mean, there's a couple of hiccups here and there, but it's completely tolerable. Doesn't seem to get in the way. Ooh, ooh. There's a big rock we can push on those guys. I gotta try that at some point. Nah, nothing. Alright, we'll just go down there and beat the crap out of them. Tree branch or whatever else. Take what? Oh, we're taking the butterfly, of course. I should have known. That looks to be an exploding barrel. Can I throw this weapon? No. What can I throw? Just the sword? Oh, that was it. Let's try a tree branch before we do that. Yes. A little higher. Oh, I hit it, but it didn't didn't make it explode. All right, I'm gonna boko club you, just as you were gonna do to me. Take all the things, everything you have, everything you own, more steak. I'll take it all. Oh man. Bet we have to have a real blade to open that, huh? Back to the axe. Nice. So. Uh-oh. 
<laughs> I put it a little too close to the open flame. I was trying to do what he said and make some roasted apples out of the deal. Looks like that was too close. Hold. Hold. Keep pressing the uh, weapon change button. <laughs> apple, apple, apple. Well, we'll see if that ends up roasting it. I also want to try a mushroom because roasted mushrooms. Freaking good, let me tell you. Just falls over pathetically. All right. Oh, was a little too close. Low health noise is much less irritating than it has been in the past. So that's good. Well, I don't know how to roast that apple. I don't know. We're gonna eat one though. Ooh, it's one of those uh, random dungeon thingies. Let's grab what you got, a tree branch. All right, well, I didn't really hide from them, so. Let's, uh, let's fight. Yeah, you can't handle your own spears, can you? You can't. Or your own clubs, I'll bet. That looks like it hurt that dude bad. Ooh, I did not notice my own health there. Oh boy. Down he goes. Linkles down. Linkle. Some items like bows allow you to tilt. To aim. Yikes. That's what I want to do. Pretend I'm still using a Wii. The rusty sword is badly damaged. What can we do with them about that? Can we... Nah. Okay, we're going to try and chuck a club at this guy's head. Now let's sneak up. Then climb up, take him out before he alerts the others. If you can. You gotta go up the, the ladder, okay. Don't see me, don't see me, don't see me. Oh yeah. And now, We've got a bow. Nice. Doodle -do doodle -do -do. And so now, can we blow up stuff? So I hit it. I think we need to break the string it's attached to. No, oh, that's not doing it. Oh, I'll bet you we can just shoot one of them barrels. Oh, it didn't reach. We'll get a little closer. I like how easy it is to switch to the bow. Do we need some fire? Probably need fire. 
All right, bow's out of ammo. Time to just mess some fools up. Have at thee. Oh. Run away! Grab a different weapon! Oh, oh, he got me. Eat something. Doesn't restore much. This guy is. Oh! Oh! One hit! Man, stronger than I thought. Alright. So we got to figure out then how to blow those up. It's the easy way to take that guy out, it seems. All right. All right. We know how to get the bow from that one Bacoblin, so... From there, we'll figure out how to drop the torch down onto the fiery explosion-y doodles. That's right. I'm very technical. Oh, crap. He already saw me. Really? Please? No! Just get up there and kill this guy. What hit me? What? Nothing hit me. That was weird. Maybe the guy with the the other guy with the bow, maybe. I didn't see any projectiles, though I just kind of fell over. Ooh. Link. How dare you. Okay. Sneak up on the little bugger. He's got no idea what he's about to be beaten with. <laughs> Bam! His clan's gotten... He's shrieking in pain, but his clan... Still no idea. Stupid fellas. I'm cool with it. Maybe from up here is probably the better vantage point, huh? Yeah. Yeah. Oh, there's some tilt... Wow. Your... Pro controller has tilt functions. Look at this. Didn't expect that. Not sure that I like that. Just hold it still in my lap if I can. That's what I want to see. <laughs> Excellent. Let me just stick with that one for now. Oh, he's not dead. Man, this guy is tough. Hit him in the head for a critical hit. Nice. Seems to be working really well. Oh, come on. You're so close on this link. Don't die on me now, bud. Oh, we did it. And unlock the treasure chest. Excellent. A spiked club. No wonder he had a, a better weapon. That's how he got me. Repeatedly. So I could use some better defensive equipment. Another bow. Excellent. More arrows. Let's eat some food, shall we? Make that noise stop. I guess you eat all the mushrooms and it just barely covers all your health. Oh. Ooh. Incredibly effective against cold things. Very cool. 
is how you draw your bow, and this is how you switch arrows. Nice. Then you go back to this. Man. There's a lot of depth here. A lot of depth. So we've knocked that out. Great. That wasn't our main quest. Let's go figure out what the little blinking thing over there is. I'm gonna come at it from an angle. Man, this game is big. Look at this, and the, the the variety to the terrain is crazy. It's definitely not just one flat world. Man, I can see why it takes a long time to make games, man. This is intense. Oh, this must be it. I was curious what was up here. And uh, our objective is the answer. Hey. What is it? But, but, but what is it? This must be inside. Oh, okay, just, yep, fall straight down. Perfect. Ah, that's what we want. Slap the old Sheikah slate in there. Plop it right in. No fears. I like that there's this flavor of technology added to The Legend of Zelda. It allows them to do more things. Very cool. Do we awaken a garden? A guardian? Oh, we've definitely awakened something big old cutscene and everything oh okay then okay oh there's a bunch of them rising up are these the temples oh they feel like they might be temples Cool. Pulsing full of magic. Alright. This looks nothing like where you were when you put that thing in there. Oh, that's why. Great Plateau Tower. Distilling local information. Oh, that's cool. Sort of a magical technology. I like it. And once again, there was a little bit of the old classic, but a little different. Again, yeah, just sort of, um, sort of a jazz harmony, soft piano version. Oh, oh, it just programs your map, huh? That's cool. Classic. Uh, actually, I would expect more of this kind of map station thing from uh, Metroid than Zelda. Try to remember. You have been asleep for the past 100 years. So, I was a hero in another game then. Wow. What they say he's called? Calamity Ganon? Crazy looking, he's a big evil cloud boar. Now then, I'm gonna guess that's where we go. You must hurry, Link. Before it's too late. Well, we don't want it to be too late. That's not good. Excellent. So there's like real quests to follow. Bored in the wap. 
Cool. Oh my goodness. Look at how big this map is. And there's more we can't see in almost every direction. Wow. Whew. Oh, we could be using the steak and the baked apple, of course. Definitely give this a save. Freaking out a little bit. And you can just see Bokoblins chilling down there. Sweet. Standing here teleports me down? Nope. Going down here? Climb? There we go. Just jump down. Cool. It's a big tower. Oh, that old man again. Oh, with a gliding sail thingy. My, my. It would seem we have quite the enigma here. Hmm. Yeah, almost as if, huh, buddy? Oh, I heard a voice. A voice, you say? Do you happen to recognize this voice? I see. Well, that is unfortunate. All right, man, who are you? I assume you caught sight of the atrocity enshrouding the castle. Hmm. That is Calamity Ganon. 100 years ago, that vile entity brought the kingdom of Hyrule to ruin. He had suddenly and destroyed everything in its path. So many innocent lives were lost in its wake. For a century, the very symbol of our kingdom, Hyrule, has managed to contain that evil, but just barely. There it festers, building its strength for the moment it will unleash its blight upon the land once again. It would appear the moment is fast approaching. Who are you, sir? Former king? Oh, I do. Of course I do. Do you know me? He actually he probably does know me. I don't know me. He does. <laughs> no death could be more certain. If you had a paraglider... Oh, I'll do the nice way. Ha ha ha! Not for what? What do you mean, not for nothing? Come on, dude. Okay, let's go search for some treasure. That's fine. It's fun adventuring. Come, let me show you something. Don't be hasty now. Just follow me. Smidge of Gandalf inserted there. Then go faster, dude. Go way, way faster. I'm just going to jump in place. One shining with strange light. Ooh, actually, yes. That's where all sorts of hidden goodies are stashed and things like those. A fair exchange, I believe. All right, sir. Manipulate a young boy into doing your bidding. 
Whatever floats your boat, I guess. Wait, weren't there bacoblins around here? Yeah. Let's go beat up some folk. I've only got the one. I don't want to use the one. So can I change... Amiibo? Totally use Amiibo. Ah, uh -huh, I see, I see. Aim with motion controls. Off. <laughs> Normal or pro? What's pro look like? A lot less stuff, that's for sure. I think I want the map back at least. I mean, come on. Nope, nope, you're not supposed to see me. It's not going to be how it works out, is it? Oh, no, 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 this might work. Oh, mm, there goes the element of surprise. Get up there and beat the crap out of him. Gotcha. Switch weapons! Oh, the spiked club. Now we're playing with power. It up, pick it all up. Arrows, excellent. Bam. Okay, we don't need to use the big spiked club anymore. Normal Boko Club. You want a piece of me, boy? Hey, you want a piece of this? No, you don't. Down you go. Bing. Sweet. Bucket dicka, bucket dicka. See, it's all jazzy-like. Oh, you can take arrows out of the things that they shot it at. Nice. Skyrim-like. A Boko shield. Mm. Change shields quickly. Don't mind if I do. Huh? Uh, let's see. This guy. Huh. Nothing. I wasted uh, some of my axe durability for that. Oh, don't don't do that, sir. No, 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 no. You put it away, right? Yeah, yeah. Okay, makes sense. Da -da -da. Oh, a better sword. Excellent, excellent. Well, it's not so rusty and weak. Okay. <laughs> row, row, row. You Sorry. <laughs> Takes a little bit of effort to sw- What?! Did not see that coming. You drown. I. Wow. Okay. So, um. Better stop along the way, huh? Restore some of your stamina. Sure, eat them apples. How you like them apples, Link? Take a break from swimming to climb. And then run back to swimming. Okay. See a couple of pit stops and then you're okay. Pacoplets? Anything? Big old guardian? Omenau Shrine. Sheikah Slate! 
Hey, it's got NFC technology. Well. Oh, that's what that is. Cool, and now an elevator. Da -da -da. That's a sound from Twilight Princess. My elevator noises. Do you set foot in the shrine? I'm Omen Owl in the name of the Guardian. Get out, I think, maybe. I don't know. I didn't read that far. Okay, so puzzles happen in here. We don't have the magnetic thing, but we might get it in this dungeon thing, shrine. Whatchamajigger? Who's a McCallit? Can I climb random walls? No. No, you cannot. Can I climb the top of these things? No, no. Can I shoot something? Ah, here we go. Sheikah Slate Authenticated Distilling Rune. Magnesis, 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 yeah. Excellent. Cool, so there was what, six or seven uh, rune powers or Sheikah Slate powers? Oh, that's cool, it shows you all the metal stuff in the room. Which is pretty much this, these two. Aha. I chuck it. Push and pull. Wow, that's just so cool. Just wanted to see what would happen. Get out of there. Sweet. Well, I'm happy that you discovered that so, so early on. That was such a cool looking power in all the previews. Now I know why it's in the previews. Like, hey, you'll discover it almost instantaneously, so. Ain't no thing. Oh, -ho. I can use this to push other blocks. Nice. Look at me, I'm a bully. Flinging other blo blocks around. Get off. I'm gonna hit this guy. Oh, I can't. Can't quite hit him. Oh, there we go! <laughs> Successful combat. Okay. Is there anything under this one? No. Nah. Curious what was up there. Ancient screw. It's made of unknown material, and no matter how many times it's turned, its threads never seem to show signs of wear. That would be nice. That would be excellent. <laughs> Link's voice actor is different than in the past. Far down that way as you can, if you please. And if you can't, well, don't do that. If 
you don't mind. Dunk a shun. Cool. But you though. I want you here. Oh, almost dropped it on my head. Nice. Their bow. What is the treasure? You have proven to possess the resolve of a true hero. I am Omanau, the creator of this trial. You're creepy looking. You look like the mascot from Iron Maiden. I am a humble monk, blessed with the sight of the goddess Hylia, and dedicated to something about Ganon, probably killing him. With your arrival, my duty is now fulfilled. In the name of the goddess of Hylia, allow me to bestow this gift upon you. Please accept this spirit orb. Spirit orb sounds good. Came out of this thing's chest. A little creepy. Went into my own chest. Also creepy. He's like, what? A symbol of courage. Nice. Cool. May the goddess smile upon you. There he goes. See ya, fella. Thanks, buddy boy. Yet, yet, da da. Come give me that paraglider, sir. Well done. Yeah, how did you know? Hmm. Clairvoyance, oh, uh -huh. perhaps something just similar. This one gets a little bit more difficult to see what right was always in eyes. Bleb, bleb, bleb. <laughs> so, I thought that there was like full on voice acting in this game, but probably um, just. In some cutscenes, right? And mostly with Zelda, probably. Ooh, the Sheikah were all advanced. I like the sounds of that. Which makes it sound like this might be later in the timeline. That or earlier. When the Sheikah were very prestigious. So it is said. Hmm. <laughs> what? That was not the deal. I'll do it. It's fine. <laughs> hmm. Yes, I know that. I'm very well aware of that now. We figured that out early on. Alright, I gotta see what I can do with this. Can I destroy it? happens <gasps> there's a treasure chest down there <gasps> excellent now come here <laughs> just kicks it with his foot decorations and crafting huh 
There's another one. Come here, buddy. I like how this time you don't have to face the right way. What could this possibly be under there for? What is that? See, now where are we going here? Check the old adventure log. Oh, we're supposed to go up high, right? So we can just go to the top of the tower. That's a cool ability. I want to be able to do that. This controller is very comfortable. I like the higher sticks. I like the bigger buttons. I like the more space for everything. It is definitely a much better experience than the Joy-Cons, but I would be curious to play a little bit inside this grip. Try it out for a little. Controllers. Back at a bit. Yeah, other methods, not getting up and attaching it. Okay, I gotta slide them off again. Get to the innards there. Okay, change grip order. It's flashing, it's flashing, it's flashing. Nice, I can feel the rumble happening there. Okay, and I'll do the same for this guy. I'll press the little sync button and it flashes, flashes, flashes. You feel a little buzz and then it's connected. Press L and R. Cool, putting it in the grip. Grippity doo da. <laughs> okay. There we go. I wonder if I can play this on a single Joy Con. Oh. Well, grip doesn't feel so bad. So, I'm in a tall location. I can see those big towers. Is that? How do I do? I, I think minus? Not minus. No, what was it? Pushing in the right stick. There we go. I think that might be something. Place a pin at what I'm looking at, because that would be excellent. Yeah! Nice! I push the right stick. What else looks to be glowing around here? There's a lot of glowing happening there. Cool. Very sensitive sticks when you're zoomed in. Very sensitive. Come on, you're right there. There you go. Any place else? That was not glow. Oh, that's the one we just beat. There's one over there. Okay, well, that's. Quite a few. So let's check our map and see which one's closest. Wow. Closest is a relative. 
There's this one. And that one. That one. That's the Shrine of Resurrection. Oh, the other ones I placed might not have been in this section of the map. Okay, well. Can we... Alright, blue it is. Towards the blue. Uh, get down, please. Nice soft landings, Link. Man, that's a tall tower. Pretty cool. Alright, so blue, we're headed off this way. You know, for the little tiny buttons that are on here, it still feels pretty good. It honestly does. I don't, I don't mind this. I don't mind this at all. Did I already explore that structure? I definitely explored that thing. This is new! Hello! Gotta kill the head. Pick up the arm! His body came back, but I thought I killed the head and that's... I thought that was the end of it when you killed the head like a zombie. Oh! Pick it up, pick it up. How do we kill them once and for all? <laughs> You're a little crazy there, Link. Oh, you just defeat the whole company. I can't carry any more melee weapons. You're kidding me with this. Bone arm is what five? Oh, well, let's get rid of this spear then. The spear sucks. Spear. Drop. The coblin arm. Yes, thank you. All right. Let's explore this structure a little and then on to the blue point. Oh, that looks to be the sure death area that he was talking about. Okay. No sure death. That looks to be a guardian one day that it shall awaken. And another one. This. Uh oh. Uh oh. Oh boy. Now what, Link? Run, buddy! Okay. Uncool. Whew. Didn't expect that. Oh man, they're all activating. Three quarters of a heart. Okay. Sounds good. Heal me up. Uh, I'm not ready for you yet. You guys aren't very nice. Whew. It's hoping to blast this door open, but don't know if that's going to work out. But I think that's what I needed to do, though. The Pacoblin arm is badly damaged. Key swing, okay. Kill the other one. And his head. But I thought they were dead when you get the... The two of them together. Is 
Still nothing. Now, can I shoot this thing with the bow, maybe? I actually can. That's cool. Does almost no damage, but it's something, I guess. Need to trick this guy into doing my dirty work. Oh boy. Oh! Still almost no damage. Boy, that is not an effective weapon. Over here. Try to shoot at me, please. Hey, ugly. Come here. Close. Ow! Ooh, I didn't do that right at all. <laughs> Oops. My bad. Continue. Hmm, you know what? I'm thinking about that charging grip, and I think the charging grip doesn't have like a battery. And so, like, when you put them in the grip, so this is the normal comfort grip, doesn't have any charging ability. The other one has a spot where you plug in, but it doesn't appear to, like, have a battery or anything in it. So, I think all it does is that when you plug it in, it's charging the Joy-Cons. But when you unplug it, it's not, like, charging it wirelessly. Like some sort of battery pack handle. It just has a, a port on it, and if that's the case, 30 bucks for that, and it not being a pack-in, is cruelty. That just hit me right now. Jeez, Nintendo. Killing me. Although this is very fun, still, you're killing me with this. So what can I magnese around here? Like these guardians. I don't like them at all. Ah. Run, boy, run. Woohoo! Search him, search him. Our ancient screw, whatever that does. So deep in here, there's that blue thing. Probably that big slate looking thing there. It's poking over the top. We gotta blow up that little wall area to get through. And I can sort of climb that. Can I climb climb? Yes. I feel like I have to get them to... Oh, so close. Ah! I tried to get out of the way the last second, like... Look what I did just before that, but couldn't do it twice in a row. Just one time. Just lucky the one time. This is a really cool game. I'm not exactly sure what to do. Um, to get past these guys. 
I obviously gotta blow up the wall to get to the thing that I wanna get to. Oh, unless I can climb the walls. That seems possible now that I bring that up. Of course! You gotta think outside the box. Boom. Whoa. Whoa. Cool it down there, Bacoblin Skull. Ooh, a Traveler's uh, Sword. What's weak around here? Torch. You're weak. It can use a club as a torch, so let's get rid of you. Drop. Traveler's Sword. I'll take it. Goblin Fang. Boko Shield. Okay, all that stuff ought to be good. Anything else around here? Keep looking over here, thinking maybe someone's going to chat with me. Nah, it's 4.15 in the morning. Everyone's asleep. Uh, I took the day off tomorrow, but uh, most people will be in school or working. Not me. I'll be playing this. Point at my computer. It's really, it's up there. And I can't wait even for when the stream stops and I'm real tired. I'll slide the switch out of the dock and I'll just be able to resume. So sweet. Man, that's just so cool. Alright, alright. Do you set foot in the shrine? I am Jabaij. I am in the name of in the name of God of this I I offer you something this trial. Struggling so much with the name I couldn't read it properly. Sheikah slayed it up. Bling. Authenticated now. That is some straight computer talk. Two things. A bomb that can be detonated remotely. Cool. So now my Sheikah Slate has a bomb? Heck yeah. Remote bomb. Okay. Oh, that's so sweet. And then what? That's the detonator? Oh. So wait, what was the deal with the other one? Oh, okay. Oh, man. Infinite bombs. That's pretty freaking cool. Then you chuck that, press whenever you like, and it explodes. Awesome. That's cool. And the other one's just like a timed bomb. Throw it. Oh, man. Nintendo, why you gotta be so cool? Just ragging on you for this controller, and now I'm just enjoying your game so much. Ooh. Get it down. Oh, the Traveler's Claymore. Four, but I need that as a potential lantern. So then five. Probably get rid of some of these Bacoblin arms. Drop. The axe is good for cutting down trees, so I don't really want to get rid of that. The sword is strong compared to what I have right now. Quite strong. I wonder if I can repair swords and axes and stuff as they're breaking. Perhaps some sort of blacksmithery. Oh, I forgot you can chuck things. Oh, I didn't want you to use that. Drop. 
I shall... Oh, it's going to deliver that little package. But that's not how this is going to work. This is how it's going to work. Grab. Throw. Explode. <laughs> ha Can we climb these? No. Ooh. Ooh. Can I straight climb this maybe? Or it wants me to use the little launcher thing probably, huh? Yeah. Once a launcher thing, always a launcher thing. Bam, just vaporizing this stuff. That's awesome. Didn't even want that. It's like a spirit bomb from Dragon Ball Z. Want to go over one. Fling me. Wee! Physics puzzlers, man. Bet things to wear are a crafting item, I guess. I guess. What are you? What are you? No, 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 no. I want to know what you are. Okay, so you can't run while holding things. Note to self. Okay. Drop it. Nope. No, 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 no. That wasn't it at all. Get in there. What's the deal? Doesn't seem to like that. Nice. Sounds good to me. Like jumping up ladders, that's nice. Makes it go quick. This obviously has to be used for something, so... Let's see if this is it. I guess. Doesn't seem right. Speaks to the promise of a hero. They look the same, all the persons in here. Name of some godless highly I bestow upon you this spirit orb. Blip. And into your chest. What in the which has happened? May the goddess smile upon the earth. Vaporizes. So that's a weird creature. Brand new right there. Loading, but I wasn't done with that area, was I? What the little orange thing flying around? Isn't that gonna be something I want to unlock? I think so. Pretty sure. I'm going back in. Well, how dare you make me leave before I figure out the mystery of the orange ball thing. How dare they. Just assuming I'm not curious enough to figure it out. Excuse, excuse. Okay, that is used. Let's 
see if magnesis comes into play in this puzzle at all as well. Y'all ready for this? Da -da -da -da. Oh! Oh! Ow! That's the first time I hurt myself with that bomb. Let's, uh, let's go eat something. We've made a, a huge mistake. Uh, not a lot to eat. I guess we'll eat this roasted apple. Alright. Orange ball thing. Let's take a look. What are you? Now, there's this little loader thing, and this would seem to have something to do with it. It seemed to. Why am I walking funny? He's walking funny up there. Made me fall. Speaking of walking funny, watching him walk and run around holding this, he looks really funny. It would seem to be meant to sit there. But then what? We'll launch ourselves across. Keep a lookout for things. Oh, nope, actually. So that's not ready yet. Where'd it go? There it is. Reload! Reload! No, no, no. Okay. If I were an orange ball thing, where would I want to go? Do I try and just bust it open? It seems to have a little mount thing right there. Oh, I know what that little mount thing is. You're supposed to roll your bomb in there, but what is this then? Something to examine? Something to blow up? Oh, that sucker really flew. You know, that ball might literally be there just for demonstration purposes. To help you figure out that you're supposed to be launched by these things. Now that I think of it, that is completely possible. And to probably also to teach you to do that. We figured out another way to do it, so... I'm going to change my mind and say that we are done with this. I was just too stupid to know. Shun. Let's get out of here. Yeah, do do. Ooh, I like this. The difference between li winning and losing a battle often comes down to strategy with the right tactics and be able to defeat an entire something or other that I didn't get to finish. I'm going to guess that these bombs are going to be real handy in facing off with these rusted up guardians. It's a maybe. It's a solid maybe. Not positive about that. Nah, I'm gonna switch that to a solid no. It's a nice thought. But it didn't pan out. Yikes, run! Okay, where are we headed now? 
on the old nippity map. I don't know if it's any shorter to go to that tower first. Seem to really be particularly helpful. <laughs> Classic Zelda noises. Well, I say Zelda as the game series, not as the character. Classic Link noises in The Legend of Zelda. Just. That's long for you. There's a little bit of stuttering happening around here, so the performance isn't 100% and it's okay. The same kind of shield, yeah, Boko shield. Can I cut down one of these big trees? Oh, yes you can. Oh, and we can get a Korok leaf. Oh. Cool. Oh, it's a melee weapon. Oh, okay. Let's take a look at what melee weapons we do have. these swords. We can get rid of this, I guess. There's usually more of those we can figure out. What? Nice. One more tree. One more. Some more wood. Excellent. All right. Continue our little journey. There it is. There's the glowy guy up there. Uh, what do we want? We'll try this rusty sword. Yeah, we'll stick with the rusty sword. Is that? Something we can eat? A rush room. Cook it before eating it to temporarily increase your movement speed. Interesting. Climb this thing faster. I can make him jump. Badly damaged, huh? Well, we're gonna use it. <laughs> It didn't work! Oh no, we broke it for no reason. Darn, we need a lot, oh. A lot more uh, arrows. They are so far scarce, but extremely useful, so. Let's get a proper weapon equipped here. We got a couple of traveler swords, let's do it. Oh, I'm here. Pick up your weapons. Fine. I'll take you out. Go ahead and pick up your weapons. See if I care. Bow. Apparently we're full on bows. the old axe big boy oh yeah oh nice arrows and apples that's a good find right there hope this axe doesn't break on us oh and some honey I'm feeling two things honey is gonna be great the bee is less so and we're gonna need to switch weapons here traveler sword Take that, bees. 
just made it. Coarser bee honey. Okay. Cooking this into a meal mocks potential. These nutrients provide stamina recovery effect. Okay. Let's see if we can roast some of these apples. I don't know what's going on there. I was wondering to roast an apple. Just have to be right next to the flame. But not too close, I would imagine. That seems too close. Unless... Oh, there it is! Baked apple! Nice! Okay. Hold. Add. Hold them all! Excellent. You just put them right next to the fire. Bake them all! Nice. Ugh, oh, one of them didn't bake. Come on. Stupid apple. When your apples won't bake. Ah! Just made a meme for you. <laughs> I know. Nobody asked for it. Nobody wanted it, but you got it anyway. Put it right in the fire, Link. Right in the fire. And I assume right before my very eyes. Alright, that apple is getting eaten. Straight up. As is this baked one. Okay. Okay. We were headed towards the yellow one up there. So I was going to see if I could cut down a tree with this. Looks like you can. Just takes a lot of effort. Didn't mean to take out that bomb, but... ha <laughs> It works! Can we blow down a tree with this? Oh, yes we can! Excellent. Oh, this makes me happy. <laughs> also, why didn't we fight the Bacoblins by throwing bombs at them? Stupid. Always throw bombs at Bacoblins. They're free. Cook to release the stamina restoration properties. Okay. Spicy pepper. What's this? Side story? The old man's diary. On this desolate plateau, the only pleasure that brings me comfort is cooking. And today I outdid myself. Truly, I created the perfect dish. I call it spicy meat and seafood fry. This recipe not only restores health, but also keeps me warm even when traveling in the snowy mountains. With this dish on my side, I no longer have need of that itchy warm doublet. Warm doublet. Oh. I'm going to keep reading. Yeah. Ah. Uh. What happens if I use this? Oh, there we go. A woodcutter's axe. Nice. Upgrade. Baked apple, shrooms. We're, we're doing good. Doing real good. Oh, old man, what are you doing here? Yeah, give me some tips. A dish that increases my stamina, like, permanently? That would be great. I 
needs, uh, hmm, what do we want to make? Stamina recovery, stamina restoration, temporarily increased movement speed. An elixir. An elixir. Don't got a lot here, and then there's already cooked things. I don't think I can really make anything right now. I don't have enough ingredients. I guess I could try and just throw a shroom or two in there. Hold. Add all this together. Why not? Cook it. And I don't know what you got for me, but I want it. Bring. Okay. What does it do? Check and yield to be selected from your inventory and in selecting recipe. Okay. All right, where's my cooked thing that I made? Six, it's recover six hearts. What? Excellent. Boy, separately they didn't do that. Cool. And what if I cook a couple of mushrooms without? Hold, hold. Without the honey. What does that do? Plays a little song. It's silly. Mushroom skewer. Excellent. Let's see what it does. Two full hearts, which is certainly better than the two half hearts that it was originally. Hmm. All right, might as well cook the rest. Seems to be quite handy. Energizing mushroom skewer. Oh, so that was better than mixing it with a different type of mushroom. Interesting. Farmer's pitchfork. Can we get rid of one of these? Can we... There's no quick way to do it from here. I don't want all these leaves. I'll right, try this pitchfork out. Hey, it breaks stuff. Excellent. Wow, he's fierce with this thing. Cut down trees with it? No. <laughs> That'd be awesome, though. Should I try and sneak up on him, probably? We just need the one arrow. Good. Now we got five more. Hey, hey, hey. Who's next? Oh. That did not work. Alright, let's do this. Oh! What is up? Well, this Boko shield is better than my other shield, so I should ditch one. Better than this one. Get rid of the pot lid. Stupid pot lid. Give me that Boko shield. As far as the bow goes... Don't shoot. Okay. The bows die? How does a bow get hurt? That's what I don't know. Oh, 
take their meat. Heh <laughs> More of that seared steak. No, 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 stop! Don't burn up my leaf! Oh, we already have one of these clubs. Okay. Hut. This treasure chest. Oh, a throwing spear. Ooh. My inventory is full, but it doesn't have to be. Drop it. Cool. Alright, let's take one of these axes and start busting boxes open. Oh, also a, an arrow I missed. Like, oh, apples. Oh, excellent. Lots of apples. I'm so glad I busted this open. And some arrows. Yes. Can I chop this down? Because that would be kind of awesome. No, none of that? Okay. Got it all? Okay, yeah. Let's make some more of these baked apples as long as we got a fire at our disposal. Hold five at a time. Alright, there you go. Five directly in the fire. And just a couple more. The cooking aspect is cool. I'm actually impressed with it. I think it works well. Let's hide over there. Highly shroom. Excellent. Blam! More honey, more shrooms, and a treasure chest. Nice. Glad I blew this place up. Bomb arrows. Nice. I love bomb arrows. And once again, I am not fighting any bokoblins with bombs. What's wrong with me? That's obviously like the easiest way to fight these guys. It doesn't even take ammo. Alright, where were we? We are trying to go up there, I think. To the right. Oh, apples growing on a tree. Time to blow the crap out of it. Spare apples. Oh, but I want to catch a firefly. Come here, firefly. Come here. Yeah. Glows a uh, compound that causes it to glow results in an elixir that will allow you to move more quietly. Interesting. Permanently? That would be interesting. Why am I wasting an axe on that when I can just blow it to smithereens? Actually, in this case, we probably do need an axe as yes, a bridge. Woohoo! That's cool. That's really cool. Right, the yellow guy's like right up there. Can I just shake this tree? I mean, I don't want to have to cut it down, but. Oh, you're making it so easy for me. <laughs> Take that, fool. It's traveler sword time. Take that! Oh, ouch. Oh, he's actually avoiding me. Fine, you wanna avoid me? That's fine with me. Run away. I dare ya. Ha. Bling. 
I'll gladly take down a tree for a few apples. Okay. Where is this thing? Is it right above us? Flirting with danger a little bit here. Might run out of stamina. We gotta get to this resting point. I think we're gonna be okay. Okay, yes, nice, nice. Oh. Man, this is a pretty cool mechanic. I like this explore anywhere business. That's pretty sweet. Also does damage the bow to use it. Okay. Well, is what it is. Oh, and none of those stayed. Eh, it's fine. From there, is that another resting spot? I think so. The daylight is changing on us. I like that. Day-night cycle. Add some variety. Can we do it? I think we can. Oh, crap. That was a little gutsy. Oh, ho, ho. it just worked out, though. Whoo! Give it a let go. Okay. Whew. Pushing it a little bit. He's sweating. He's sweating hard. He should be climbing a mountain. Can he make it? He might be able to make it from the top to the top from here. Of course, if we do it that way, we probably won't. Oh no! Didn't uh, see that coming. I thought I'd land on my little ledge again. Oops. My bad. <laughs> my bad. Instead of throwing yourself at enemies over and over to no avail, try cooking special dishes and elixirs to give yourself better defense, extra damage, or more hearts. That's actually a pretty sweet idea. I like it. A little cooking piece, and it makes a big difference. Oh, back here. Did we not even get all this? No, we got all this. Good. So... Where was that glowing thing? Because we used to be able to see it before. Now I feel I cannot. Can I break these with the explosions? Yes. The cheap and free way to do it. Was the glowy thing? Got no problem stealing these apples. Looks like we can blow a tree down, and that'll work. Probably, maybe. Uh oh. But not the right direction. Okay, Ooh, better be careful. Face it directly in the right direction. So we don't have any problems. Okay, we're good. Hey. Don't you fall, don't you dare fall. Collect a couple of these bad boys. Yeah, I know. I don't have any because I died after getting my last group of them. 
Out of reach. Okay, that's fine. Boom. <laughs> What's up, dude? I'm gonna hit you with one of your own clubs. It's quite a noise he makes. Oh, you can kind of disturb the tree. <laughs> These clubs. It actually does kind of work. Cool. that last one. I'm gonna go pick up that spare club or the spear or something. Hey, look, a little explodey place. We'll try that before we kill ourselves in the mountainside again. Nice! Do -do -do. Nice! Fire arrows, that's awesome. Okay. Well, I think up the mountain we go. Can't see what else we could possibly do, so. It's gotta be it. Let's see if we can make it. Alright, goal number one. Can I eat while I'm standing here? Because that'd be kind of awesome. I can eat while I'm standing here. The only thing that can possibly do for me is that one piece of food that recovers stamina. If I'm about to fall off, that could be useful. Where's the next? Oh, it's up a ways. Quite a ways. Take. There you go. New. Oh. I like his new sounds. They took some effort and actually re recorded some of the link sounds. Hey, see. Oh boy, that is a ways up there. Come on, baby. You can do it. Nice, Link. Nice. First of all, let's, uh, let's save here. Let's load it here if we need to. This is a real ledge. Good, good. I was a little concerned it was fake. Tempting you to go up when it's really going to kill you. You can do it! Yeah! Yeah! Nice! Good job, Link. What is this type of... Spear. The Traveler's Spear. How's that compared to... Oh, that's a pile of garbage. Traveler's Spear. Ooh, 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 ooh. We can roll this down on what suspect unsuspecting... Oh, there's a treasure chest under there. Also, can we just... Magnetize it out? Nah. Can we push it out? Can we explode it out? This is a good good proposal. Ooh, wow. Not so effective. That's not what I wanted. I wanted to drop it. 
with the square ones. It doesn't roll anywhere. Ah. It looks like it's going to do something, but then it doesn't. But then it doesn't. Hmm. All right. Enough of that business. Let's go in here. Zhuang. Man, this is a great looking game. It's hard to believe that I'm sitting here playing a Nintendo Switch and playing the new Legend of Zelda game. Oh man, I had so much fun doing that unboxing video. That was great, opening up all the stuff, seeing it for the first time. I actually, uh, even though I'm playing it on a big TV and that's great, I actually can't wait to take it out of the dock and be playing it in handheld mode. The system is actually like really fast and responsive. And actually, let's see if we can do that. I am Omo Dime. Let's hit the home screen. I don't think if I go here, it's going to close anything on me. So look at how fast that was. Oh, and I got to enter a password. I'm not going to enter a password in front of you guys. But like you open up anything and it just loads real quick. It's responsive. You power the system down, it shuts down quick. You power it up, it powers up quick. Man, everything about it's just awesome. So there's yeah, there's little gripes, but I'm just impressed that they got so many of the basics really really right. Uh, show me the system power. What are you at? Doesn't say the percentage. It seems to charge slowly while you're playing, and I guess that's to be expected. Snipper clips. I'm gonna stream that at some point. I got Bomberman coming tomorrow. Probably get uh, one two switch. I wasn't sure I wanted one two switch, but now, now that I've seen um, more of it, and not just that one weird commercial thing that they had during the switch event in January uh, now that I've actually seen some of the mini games and then some testimonials from folks now I'm convinced that it is a game that I would play with friends and more than one time and it would be fun and I can make a great party game what's the new power we get stasis ooh stop the flow of time for an object what Stops an object in time when storing its kinetic energy. The stored energy will act upon the object when the flow of time resumes. Making good use. Excuse me, it's 504. Making good use of the stored energy can move even the largest of objects. Well, that's how we move that big rock outside now, isn't it? So... What you're saying is, I have stasis, that's my shield, and stop time. But then it gets used for something else, or they could... I'm not sure I understand exactly. what it's doing here. So I'm storing up its kinetic energy. Then what happens with it? See. It doesn't seem to build up any extra power or anything, so that must not be the benefit. It just must... Ooh, that looks like a 12. That is by far the strongest weapon I have right now. Like, those axes are handy, though. Do I want to get rid of them? I do have a second one. Might as well. Grab that iron sledgehammer. Excellent, excellent, excellent. What do you want to do? You want... Yeah, you'll keep it the spear. Okay, so this is saying what? Wow! 
Whoa! So you just hit it a few times and it builds up all the energy in one go. Oh, nicely done, Link. 5J, don't suck, man. So you freeze it, you hit it a few times, and then when it unfreezes, all the hits that you gave it suddenly hit it all at one time. I get it. That's cool. Stasis, that's a very inventive power. That's, man, that's thinking. Because the other, the bombs, well, it's just a bomb, sure. It's a spirit bomb, and it's infinite. Cool, now I don't have to worry about bomb supplies, but for real, not very inventive. The magnesis, that's cool. That's really cool. The stasis, even more inventive. I really like that. It's not just stopping time, which is already handy. May the goddess smile upon you. I'm not far enough yet to use these amiibos, but eventually I will be. And I'll scan them in, see what they do, what they give me. Metal weapons create sparks that can be used to light a fire. Furthermore, if you set a wooden weapon on fire, it can be used as a torch. Handy, multiple uses. All right, we are making some real progress. So now we're gonna put the stasis to use. Stop time, and then you hit it. See where it goes. Oh my goodness, where did it even go? It disappeared off the edge of the map. That's awesome. Did you see how far the thing flew? <laughs> Oh, I love it. Yeah, your traveler's bow. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, so get your bows out. What kind of bows do you have? Boko, 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 and one traveler. Okay, so let's get rid of one of the boko bows. That one. Drop. Yeah, da -da. course no don't okay of course I still want you to have a boko bow for now all right so let's see where is the next closest green that's the way to go let's go green Sorry. Just checking around a few things here on the old Twitchenheimer. Oh, a butterfly! I totally could have snuck up on him. Oh crap, it's cold. Do the hustle. Jump on it. We don't have a place to cook. Oh, we can lay down some wood, I think. Then we can make our own camp uh, place here and maybe do some cooking. No, 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 no. Where? Materials, materials. Throw down some wood. Plop it down. You can use this if you have something to light it. Do I have to grab five at once? No, no you don't. I guess you just light it on fire. Or is that flint? Stripe with metallic to generate a spark. Put it down. I need a traveler's sword. 
Nice. Okay. Now let's see if we can cook something. Something with these uh these hot peppers, these spicy peppers. Cook it cook with it to create dishes that will raise your body temperature and help it stand cold. Okay, so they weren't particularly helpful on their own. And how do I create a cooking surface? Don't know. We'll just see what happens when we toss a couple of these down. Toasty. Spicy pepper do anything? No. Nah. Toasty, huh? So, hold a few of them. Sure, hold five of them. Why does this one have an arrow? Did it always have an arrow? Maybe it did. Maybe I'm just going crazy. What? in the world was that? What? One of them became charred. Now it restores, what, three quarters of a heart? Just slightly more, but it doesn't have any of those properties. What was with that gust of wind? That was crazy. How many does it want us to get? Hmm. Oh well. Some of my peppers. One of my peppers! No pepper left behind. Okay, so. Not sure how far we're gonna make it here. Try your best. Eat it. Oh, man. He <laughs> climb down, climb down. This is risky business. I don't know if I should have attempted this. <laughs> Sitting by a fire, does that keep me warm? Seems to. Yes! Taking them out. You got what you got. More arrows. Excellent. It's like Resident Evil and how bullets were so rare. Arrows are super rare, and now you just need them all the time. Not enough stock. Okay. It's up there. Go, buddy, go! Oh! First of all, game over was a different color. That's interesting. Second of all, that cold water kills you. <laughs> Pro tip, don't do that. Don't do that. Protective armor. Yeah, I'd love some protective armor if you'd just give me some. I'd take it. I really would. Okay. So we got to climb down gently. I said climb. Ho! 
Oh, not what I wanted, but it worked out okay. Into the food area. Eat that and warm up a little bit. If that even warms me up now, I'm not so sure. Cooking area. Here we go. Here we go. Now we're talking. So first of all, let's eat some cooked food here. Store that health. Second... Hold one of those. And some apples, I guess. Oh, do we have to light this on fire first? We probably do. Shucks. Thought we had made a good decision there. We don't have any flint anymore. Don't want that. Ancient gear. gonna get to that green thing we gotta go cook some meals some spicy peppers it's got a cooking pot they had one in there of course but it wasn't lit hey here we go um not that this Chuck it at that. Excellent. There's nothing in there, but still. Uh, we can use this leaf. There we go. Perfect. Okay. Hold one of those. Hold one of those. Make a dish. Cook it up. Spicy fruit and mushroom mix. Grants low level cold resistance. Nice. Contrast the sweetness of fruit with the savoriness of mushrooms. Well, great. We can make more of that. That's easy enough. Hold, add, cook. And we can even skip. Hold, add. We'll see if it's any good with an apple. We're going to find out. <laughs> eh. Occasionally that microphone goes out, but I have a monitor now so I can tell much quicker when it dies on me and when it doesn't. Okay. What happens if I combine it with this stamina one? Does it give me stamina and cold resistance? No, it neutralizes both benefits, which is unfortunate. Okay, so we're going to continue to just probably do the fruit then. Woo! Give me that simmered fruit. One more. Well, two more. And we'll see if we can just cook some apples in there. Skip. We are going to be so ready for all this cold... It won't even be funny. Skip the little thing. Can we just cook an apple on its own? 
Does it give us that uh, roasted apple? Oh, simmered fruit. Sure, sure, sure. Which is a full heart. What's better, the simmered apple or the uh, roasted apple? Baked apple. The simmered one is actually much better, so we should definitely do more of that. Hold two at once. Does it cook twice as many? We're to find out. Oh, it, it restores twice as much health. Excellent. That works just fine. Alright, we're gearing up. We're going to see if we can get to that final area there. The green. Yeah, up there. Oh, and there's a spicy pepper left over here. For a later dish. Save it. So it looks like our dishes are going to give us three minutes cold resistance. Eat it. And have a traveler's sword. Go, little buddy, go! Does it also resist cold water is a very important question. The answer is no. No. <laughs> no. We want to probably load our last game because, ouch. Let's see what happens when we quit. Because we just saved. From that perspective, we are fine. Title screen, a little basic. Those are all the. Wow, look at all these auto saves. This goes back a ways. Well, at least 15 minutes. 18 minutes. Nice. Load the save data. So water, extra cold, does not calculate into the whole increase your cold resistance business. Now we know. Now we know. Wait, jump slash, I didn't even take note. All right, cooked dish. Eat. Let's do this. Oh boy, how do we get over there? Hopefully this way works. If not, we are wasting some serious time. We have to reload. It'll happen, maybe. Yeah, it's fine. We got three minutes at a crack and we got a bunch of those dishes, so I think we'll be okay. Long shoreline. So we want that traveler sword. Do, do, do. Oh, what are you? I don't know, but I want you dead. What just happened? White choo choo jelly. It's cool to the touch, and squeezing it seems to relieve stress. If struck, it will explode in a cold mist. That's weird. Okay. Choo-choos. They're back. Man, they appear to explode in a cold mist as well. Oh, I see. You become cold. Yeah, I understand. It's badly damaged. Also, apparently they don't hide stuff in grasses anymore, which is a big change, eh? Okay. This is I'm gonna deal with you. Wow, that was a lot easier than I expected. Just the one did the trick on both of them. This is really cool. This is really cool. Nintendo... Oh, Nintendo, you've done a wonderful thing for us all. Let's change to Magnesis. Get you going. If I can aim. I rotate you. 
don't know that we do. It's not quite what we want. Well, just have to straighten you out. You're so close. Oh, no, you're knocking the other one off. You don't want that. Oh, boy. Oh, no. Oh, no. Link, you fool. How dare you? Le fool. Le fool. It's probably a little loud when my wife's still sleeping, although she might get up fairly soon for work. Honestly, she just might. Oh man, I just I think I realized something. Oh, all the way back here? Eh. Jerks. Never mind, never mind, sorry, sorry, I'm getting distracted. Don't be distracted. Eat. Traveler sword. Is it easier to go up the mountain and then straight across? I don't know about that. I don't know about that. No insight to give there. All I know is falling in the water. It was stupid. Very, very stupid. I shouldn't have jumped out in that thing until I was sure it was stable. But I thought I could just, like, get up there quick. No. No, you can't do that. What are those things? Oh, 30 on the ground. Acorns, sure. Doodly doo. Run! Ah, didn't work out. <laughs> oh, yeah! Hey, kill him when he's not all icy. That works out. That's a good plan. Do that. Did my sword break? Oh, sad. Traveler spear. Give that a shot. I could probably even kill him from a distance, a safe distance. <laughs> totally worked. And then didn't. Man, weapons are so fragile. I don't know how I can make them stronger. At least the ones I care about. Also, do you get a Master Sword in this game? Because that'd be cool. Oh, I see where that thing goes. It goes in those uh, twiggy things. That was stupid of me before. Why didn't I think of that? What's wrong with my face? My brain. All of those things that I said. Well, that's not nearly the right angle. Like, at all. There we go, there we go, okay. Push it, push it. Like that. Yeah! Yeah! Nice. Good. Oh, we still have some cold resistance. We're making some real progress. My stomach just went crazy. we doing? 10 seconds left of the cold resistance. We'll move on to dish number two. And there it goes. <gasps> hey. 
Man, I wasn't sure I was going to make it to this one, but once we made the right dish, it's kind of easy, honestly. I can see cooking is a really integral part of this game. Just weird, but kind of awesome at the same time. Oh. oh boy. That's where we need to go. Oops, that's not what I meant. Come on, yes. Oh, you so have this, Link. Yes. Good, good. Just check and see if there's like treasure chests. Oh. There's some dudes down here we could beat up quick. We got a couple of minutes of uh, cold resistance left. old Boko Club. Nope. New Boko Club. It's weaker. I don't care about it at all. Okay, nothing in that. Or oh, some sizzling steak. Seared steak. Sorry, not sizzling. It's kind of sizzling on the fire at the time. Oh. Oops. Oops. Actually, it's kind of funny they have a temperature gauge in this game. How warm is your body? It's a weird mechanic. It works, though. Oh, no, no, get out, get out. It's cold water. Of course it is. Stupid. Eat one of your baked apples. Two of your baked apples. Okay. Let's do it. This might be the last one of the area. I don't remember. I mean, I pegged a couple more, but they appear to be off the map that I can explore. Like, I can't actually get to them, even though I've marked them. And I can see them. Sleeping to bed allows you to sleep until morning, noon, or night. It also replenishes your hearts. Oh, because you can wait at a fire until those times, but I guess I won't recover hearts then, huh? Makes sense. To you who sets foot in this shrine, I am Ken Namat. They make up a lot of names. They can up all sorts of names. You got another power for me? Eh? Maybe. Blows up. We're dead. End of game. Cryonis, create a pillar of ice from a water surface. Nice, and then those are stable. It's kind of like the water staff, or the sand staff, where you'd make a pillar out of whatever. That's how you get past these cold bodies of water that normally kill you. That's cool. <laughs> oh, oh, oh! Wait, is it cold body? Oh, this one's not a cold body of water. Okay. Nice. Wow, it holds open doors. That's that's awesome. What 
in the world are you? Ow. Not very nice, buddy. It's really not very nice of you. Aim is not so good in trying to get this guy. I don't think I'm going to be able to. So, uh, we're going to do it this way. Ha! He's a little tiny guardian. We took him out. Took him out. Nice, nice, nice. What is that? Oh, we're going to want to get up there. There you go. Okay. Okay, that's fine. Weapons. I'm kind of more into armor at the moment, but... It seems they're more about giving you a billion and a half... Weapons. Excellent. That worked well. Let's check for treasure chests and such. It's a no go. Oh, there is. Nope, I was just there, and you're stupid. <laughs> Come on, 5J. Use your brain. could see that it was open. You didn't have to be dumb about it. Did you get everything else? Everything else all guarded? Looks like it. I think we're good. Man, I'm still in shock when I'm sitting here playing with the Switch. It's in my hands. The Joy-Con's in a grip right now. So sweet. Actually, you can slide them out of this grip. You can play with them separate. They don't have to be in the grip at all. It's just a comfort thing. So you can play with them like this. Just hold them in your hands. Because why not? Why not? And then I can hold them awkwardly like this in the stream the whole time. May the goddess smile upon you like this. It's the goddess smiling upon you, so. SL and SR. That's the shoulder buttons inside these Joy-Cons. So we got R, ZR, and SR, L, ZL, L, and SL. Bro! Hey, have you come to give me your glider finally, you little jerk? Like this? You have never cleared all the spirit orbs from the shrines on this plateau. <laughs> Extraordinary! That means it is finally time. Link, it is finally time for me to tell you everything. But first, Imagine an X on your map with the four shrines of the endpoints. Find the secrets where those lines intersect. Four shrines of the endpoints. Find where they intersect. Okay. I shall wait for you there. Do you understand where the two lines connecting the shrines will cross? I will be waiting. Okay, well... Again, I'm going to hold them up awkwardly. Um, let's go to our map, I think. And fast travel to a location that isn't going to kill us with cold. Where's the tower? Let's go to the tower, sure. I keep saying I have one viewer, but I think it's just me. Checking anyway. I mean, it is 5:40 in the morning. It's pretty. 
If you backflip or side hop away from a monster's attack just right at the moment, you will be rewarded with a chance to let loose a flurry of attacks. Oh, that sounds nice. Alright, holding them separate and, and dorkily. This is how I feel when I'm holding them separate like this. <laughs> You can do it. You can definitely do it. You can see it's happening. Of course, it's silly to hold them up and be exhausted. You get to kind of hold them separately at your sides, and that's fine. But I do feel it makes your thumb, especially on this hand, a little bit in a weird spot to try and hit it just right. But when it's in the grip, the grip naturally positions your hand a little lower because of the grips on the back side that you're holding on to. So it doesn't quite feel as uncomfortable on that right Joy-Con, so I definitely like it better as inside the grip. As you could probably expect. Alright, so we're looking at our map. We're imagining where these lines cross, is what he said. The four... So, I'm going to guess the Temple of Time, then. That's what he means there. Let's mark a spot on the map. A pin. Sure. That pin. Why can I not see that on my map? What is happening? A map pin there. Go to the yellow point. Oh, but first, up a goblin. He's got no idea I'm about to kill the crap out of him. Oh boy. <laughs> oh, you didn't see it? Wow, you're pretty stupid. Do I let's see? Yeah, there's the jump strike. Nice. Oh, just ran out of weapon. Sure, the bokoblin arm. Take his head. Take his head. arrows in this vicinity. Not sure why. Some big battle happened here, I guess. Littered with arrows. My, my. Check our inventory. How many did we have? 36. Not so scarce anymore. Oh, I like this. But there's nobody down there to kill. Hmm. All dressed up and nowhere to go. Tragic. Vaporized. It still got me from that far away. That's impressive. It really is. Okay. Temple O time. Let's do this. This will probably be the first real bit of story we'll have gotten all game. Oh, jump strike with a spear. Oh. oh. Deal with that. Didn't expect a jelly in there. Do -do 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 -do. Oh, of 
course, the Bacoblin. Of course. I like how it's like... This must, this can't be early. This has to be later in the timeline. I mean, it's so decrepit. You know, everything's falling apart. Although it seems that that has happened multiple times in the timeline. More ancient screws. Are we putting together an ancient machine of some sort? <gasps> is this... Is this from Ocarina of Time? No, it can't be. It's reminding me of when you meet Zelda. You really meet Zelda in Ocarina of Time. You find her near like a window like this, a little walkway up to a window. And then you both peer through the window together, and you see Ganon through there, and Ganondorf through there, and she's telling you the story of everything. That would be crazy if that's what this was really supposed to be. I would be so impressed. Oh, sweet. There's that backflip. Nice. I'm learning my combat now. For a second there, I was really like, oh man, but nah, I don't think that's what it was. I don't think it was meant to be that same room. It just had a similar feature. And probably not all that similar, it's just my mind going crazy. But you can tell I care a lot about that Ocarina of Time connection, huh? The pots! Smash the pots! The Picoblin arm is damaged badly, and I care why? <laughs> oh, yes, there were some arrows. Oh, a ton of arrows, and a treasure chest. A traveler's bow. Okay, let's get rid of another one of these Boko bows. Uh -uh. bow drop. Open traveler bow. Yippity doo da. Okay. Ooh, it's glowing. That is new. Definitively new. Ya da da. You have conquered the shrines and claimed their spirit orbs. I can offer you great power. Let's do it. It appears you've claimed four spirit orbs. I will amplify your being, so tell me what you desire. Heart stamina. A heart container or stamina vessel. That's a tough one. I feel like stamina is more useful, and you just have to get smarter in combat and have better equipment. Expand my stamina wheel. Yes, please. Nice. That's cool. Size your stamina has been increased, allowing you to perform more actions before getting tired. See, I knew there was a way to make it bigger. Oh, it was like a little extra on the outside. Okay, okay, okay. Oh. Oh. Now tell me your story, sir. The blessings of the goddess has made you that much more resilient, I see. Here I am. Get up here, quickly. Get up there? Are we gonna do that? Mm. Nice. Okay, um, can I just climb it? Whoa. Just maybe. Oh, I think we have enough stamina now. Do it, do it. Go, Link. Go, Link. Wow. That extra stamina came quite in handy. It was just enough. 
probably aggravated it by jumping up a couple of times, but still. Oh, this is so sweet being on top of this decrepit building right now. Just looking out over all this stuff. Awesome. Birds. Just birds. Scenery. I bet you could probably hunt them, actually, if you shot them down with a bow. Be tough, but you can do it. Well, I assume you could do it. Maybe the game doesn't let you, but maybe it does. Just saying. <laughs> well done oh, there, young real man. voice acting. Now then, now then, the time has come to show you who I truly am. King, you're am. king, Hyrule. I was King Rome Bosphoramus Hyrule. Not a king that we know, right? I was the last leader of Hyrule. Ooh, end of the timeline. A kingdom which no longer exists. Definite end of the timeline. <laughs> oh, wow. It's a much better look for you, King. Are you not even a real person? The Great Calamity was merciless. It devastated everything in its path, lo, a century ago. It was then that my life was taken away from me. Hmm. And since that time, here I have remained in spirit form. See? I did not think it wise to overwhelm you while your memory was still fragile. Well, still is. So rather than that, I thought it best to assume a temporary form. Forgive me. Forgive me. No. I think you no. are now ready. Ready to hear what happened 100 years ago. Okay, yeah, lay it on me, man. To know Calamity Ganon's true form, one must know the story from an age-long past. The Demon King was born into this kingdom. But his transformation into malice created the horror you see now. That is pretty crazy. Stories of Ganon were passed from generation to generation in the form of legends and fairy tales. <laughs> but there was also a prophecy. The signs of a resurrection of Calamity Ganon are clear. And the power to oppose it lies dormant. So far, I'm liking the storytelling we style. We decided to heed the prophecy and began excavating large areas of land. It wasn't long before we discovered several ancient relics made by the hands of our distant ancestors. Okay. These relics, the divine beasts, were giant Whoa. machines piloted by warriors. We also found the Guardians, an army of mechanical soldiers who fought autonomously. Wow. This coincided with ancient legends oft repeated throughout our land. It's blowing my mind a little bit. We also learned of a princess with a sacred power and her appointed knight chosen by the sword that seals the Yeah, palace. that's what I'm talking it was about. They who sealed Ganon away using the power of these ancient relics. One hundred years ago, there was a princess sent to inherit a sacred power and a skilled knight at her side. It was clear that we must follow our ancestors' path. Hmm. We selected four skilled individuals from like across it. Hyrule and tasked them with the duty of piloting the divine beasts. With the princess as their commander, we dubbed these pilots champions, a name that would solidify their unique bond. That's a big one on the right. Goron, the princess, I assume. Her appointed knight and the rest of the champions were on the brink of sealing away Ganon. But nay. But nay. Ganon was cunning, and he responded with a plan beyond our imagining. He took over the guardians, right? He appeared from deep below Hyrule Castle, seized control of Boy, and the divine beasts. The divine beasts. Turned them against us. The champions lost their lives. Those residing in the castle as well. Ooh. The appointed knight bravely collapsed while defending the princess. Oh man, a former and Link. 
the kingdom of Hyrule was devastated absolutely. He dies at the end of his again. adventure. However, the princess, the princess survived, survived to face, to face Ganon, Ganon alone. Link, you are our final help. Whoa. The fate of Hyrule rests with you. She has a very adult voice, but she doesn't look that that adult. That princess was my own daughter, my dear Zelda. Heck yeah. And the courageous knight who protected her right up to the very end. That knight was none other than you, Link. You fought valiantly when your fate took an unfortunate turn. And then, you were, taken, you were to taken to the Shrine of Resurrection. Here you now stand, revitalized 100 years later. A hundred years. The words of guidance you have been hearing since your awakening are from Princess Zelda herself. Even now, as she works to restrain Ganon from within Hyrule Castle, she calls out for your help. However, cool. my daughter's power will soon be exhausted. Let's Once get in there. Happens, Ganon will freely regenerate himself, and nothing will stop him from consuming our land. Considering that I could not save my own kingdom, I have no right to ask this of you, Link. But I am powerless here. You must save her, my daughter, and do whatever it takes to annihilate Ganon. So I'm digging this. Ganon has maintained control over all four divine beasts, as well as those guardians swarming around Hyrule Castle. I believe it would be quite reckless for you to head directly to the castle at this point. But you can. I suggest that you make your way east out to one of the villages in the wilderness. Follow the road out to Kakariko Yes! Kakariko Village! You will find the elder. Impa! She will tell you more about the path that lies ahead. Nice. Consult the map on your Sheikah slate for the precise location of Kakariko Village. Awesome. Make your way past the twin summits of the dueling peaks. From there, follow the road as it proceeds north. Oh. I'm digging this. Here's the paraglider I promised. Heck yeah! Oh, sweet. <laughs> that voice actor. That was playing the king there, King Rom. Was that, um... Ah, crap, now I forgot the role I was going to reference. The thing I thought it was... Oh, nice bow. Oh, let's get rid of our last... Crappy bow. Oh, second to last crappy bow. That's a nice one. 14 that's stronger than any of my uh, melee weapons that's awesome first of all it, I probably have an auto save but I'm gonna save on that yeah definitely all right jump in X -hoo -hoo! nice oh that's so cool if you hold your hands just right, you can change views while you're doing it. Excellent. Excellent. Little Bill and Ted action. Oh, that's great. Oh, man. You glide right into a wall, climb up the wall. That's cool. It's really cool. Where are we headed? Oh, what? Wow, we gotta go a long way. Wow. Get off. Mm -hmm. 
don't care. All right, let's see what's out over these cliffs. The cliffs of Dover. Okay. To an unknown world we go. Hey, can we even get back here? Uh, fast travel, probably. Let's do it. Why? That was so weeny of you. Just do a normal... Normal jump. Oh, the paraglider even uses your stamina, so... You do have to be careful. Hyrule Kingdom. Well, I'll be a monkey's uncle. Looks like there's a tower that way. Probably hit the tower, look for uh, various uh, challenge points. Get some more of those uh, orb things. Get four of those, we get to upgrade our stamina or health again. Or rather, our health or our stamina again, probably the better way to say. Oh, I'm not ready for you. I'm so not ready for you. Yeah, I don't know. No, I think I'm just going to run. Bird. Ah, I got the bird. I told you you could kill a bird. Raw bird drumstick. Well, we got some of that meat. Fresh meat. Yeah, you stay down there, buddy. Oh my gosh. He's chucking his arms at me. And over quite a distance, might I add. Whoa, 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 whoa. What you got? What you got? Okay, I thought this was a big tower tower, but I do not believe that it is. In fact, I don't think we have the stamina to get all the way up there. But I'm going to try it. We just might. Shouldn't have done those two jumps. Oh man. Oh! 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 <laughs> oh! Fetch a high price. All right. Let me find Beetle in this game. We'll sell it to him. What is that? That's one of them. Nice. Just, it's so sensitive in this mode. Okay. What else? It's not a cave. It's not a bokoblin. What is that? Ugly. There's a real tower. Let's hit that tower. That'll be, have a respawn point at it. There you go. Oh, oh, oh. And what is that? Slowly. Come on, stupid thing. It's so sensitive. Sweet. All right, let's do it. Climb down nothing. Who wants to climb down? Oh, and there's one right at our feet. Excellent. I would not have seen that. Sweet. Boshkala Shrine.
find how you place when you're walking through your scope. Press A to pin on your map. Oh, well, that's exactly what we've been doing. Bosch Kala. The wind guides you. Does it now? So we're probably done with the rune powers. So now we just need to figure out how the puzzle is laid out. Oh, I know. We nice. Cool. Itch, itch. <laughs> oh, I think we saw. Oh boy, I was gonna say I think I saw we. I think we saw this one in a, a demonstration that Nintendo had for us, but maybe not. The style is similar, but. They're kind of all similar, so it's fine. I'm really digging the style of everything in here. It's not, not I'm not talking about like just like the straight up graphical style. I mean like the art that they're using, the style of the dungeons, this like it, the the patterns on the tiles and that kind of stuff. Like it feels like such a different world from any previous Zelda, just in every way. It's such a respectable step that they've taken. Oh, I'm gonna wanna get there. I see, I see. I see what we gotta do. Okay. Geronimo! And Geronimo! Do it, do it, do it. Oh, no! Yikes. I thought that was it. I thought I had it. I did not. What did I miss? Did I just not glide soon enough, probably? Oh, yeah! There we go. That's the one. Holy... 20? Oh man. See, those are the kind of weapons there where I don't want them to break anymore. I'll be using all these garbage weapons and trying not to use my good ones because I don't want them to break on me when I need them to stay intact. That's so cool. I like that. I like that a lot. And they're so short. They're just these short little puzzles. I, I bet they're going to get longer. That or there's just... I think they said there was over a hundred of these. So maybe it's just... A, there's a lot. I bestow upon you the spirit orb. They don't look very different from one another. Even though their names are different. They also look very dead. Very, very dead. Say I've been streaming for three hours. It seems possible, I guess. It's five ten or six ten, past another hour marker. May the goblins smile upon I don't know why I'm speaking like some extraordinarily decrepit um, Gandalf. That seems to be how I'm speaking. <laughs> oh well. Top, bottom, and a heart headwear. Ooh, from the same set can do something. We need to get some headwear, apparently. Cover your head, Link. You get some defense bonuses if you get the same, same stuff on all parts. Hyunk. 
All right, it's 6.15, well, 6.11. I should probably go to bed. We beat another one of these. We played a lot of this. This game is beautiful. This game is fun. This game is smooth and well built. And I can see where they're starting to, where I, I can start to see where they're getting the perfect 10 scores from. Now, obviously, we've only played about three hours of this game. So, you know, reserve judgments. But, man, there's so much to love about this game already. Just three hours in. And then, when I turn off the stream, I don't have to stop playing. I just pop it out of its socket. And while I'm getting ready to go to bed at six in the morning, uh, I can play a little more and play a little more in bed. And then, just put it in sleep mode. And when I wake up, I can start playing it again. It's just so awesome. I'm loving the Switch so far. Loving it. This is an awesome system. Exactly what I wanted from Nintendo. Thank you for making a portable that works on my TV. They're going to tell you it's a console that works as a portable, but it's a lie. This is a portable that works on your TV. They're marketing it poorly. But what it is, is excellent. It's smooth. It's quite a powerful handheld. That screen on that thing, beautiful. And uh, all the controls feel great. I'm really, I like this a lot, as is, honestly. This works great. I'm, I'm very happy with this. Pro controller, even better. But uh, you got a couple of these on the side of your Switch console itself, and it feels great. And so fast and responsive. I'm really excited for the future of Nintendo here because this console is such a leap forward for them. This is great. The Switch launch, it's finally here. Many people already have it. I would be curious to see what day one sales are. You know, probably next week or maybe even this weekend we'll hear what the first day sales are. And of course, first weekend and first week and month and all that kind of stuff as time goes on. I really hope Nintendo's very successful at this because I think they deserve it. I think they've finally done something that's just so incredible. They deserve to have their fortunes turned around. Okay, enough babbling and, and uh, fandom happening there. Uh, thanks for watching this uh, on YouTube since there was nobody on the live stream but we got through I had no problem streaming that for three and a half hours and uh, hopefully if you catch this on YouTube or something you're watching on Twitch later you enjoyed it as well so thanks for coming and I will be streaming more of this soon very soon and and Bomberman oh, Bomberman that comes today I was gonna say tomorrow but it comes today at some point so I'll have to definitely pop that in. Maybe I'll have a friend over, do a little multiplayer, some snipper clips, some Bomberman. I'll think about getting one to Switch, but it is another $40, and I already dropped some big Switch-sized money on it, <laughs> on all this other stuff. So we'll see. That might be another month away. But anyway, babble, babble, babble. Falling apart at the end here. Thanks for coming. You're the best. I'll see you next time.